day two. Close to noon. It just poured last night. Poured, poured, poured. Everything soaked. I did everything under the tarp. Used a little stick stove. Okay. This is a beautiful sight. I like when uh, the tarp areas are, are tucked in here to the bush so when the extreme storms hit, like last night, uh, you're somewhat sheltered from the wind because you're tucked back in. Real nice flat open spot. My barrel is under the, under the tarp when I'm cooking under there, but uh, I always move it out. This is a small barrel here. This is 30 liters and a bear could easily pick this up and take it away. So that's my uh, tie up rope where I'll tie it around a tree away from where I prepared the food where crumbs and things might fall and, and uh, leave a, a scent. So I always move the barrel away from where I was using it to cook food. Just some firewood uh, that I collected, got a process. How about the color of that water, eh? That's clean, pure northern water. It's, it's tea stained. Uh, it's stained with natural tannins that are running off from the, the conifer vegetation and the moss. A lot of it comes from actually the moss and the, the dead needles as they decompose. Uh, doesn't taste bad. Tastes like water. Northern boreal forest, tea stained water. Well, that's interesting where I uh, tested it for dryness and solidness it was it was good and dry and then just above that it's a dead rotten piece but it's good down here and I think the I think the top piece is good too yeah that's good so there's just a rotten piece right right there black spruce.
just caught two beautiful little walleye. Look at the color on those, eh? Time to clean them up. This is a blown down black spruce tree and my favorite kindling, summer or winter, are the tips of the black spruce branches. With little birch bark or other tinder to get it going, this stuff just is uh, amazing. Uh, this stuff will take off if it's, if it's dry. And it was raining all night and this stuff is more or less dry right now. It hasn't rained this morning. It's so small and so thin and I'm sure it's somewhat resinous that uh, it, it dries really, really well. So I'm going to harvest some and start my fire with it. Dinner time. 